Murdoch spoke with police today about the recent crackdown. He joins us now live with more. Jim. Well, thank you, George. Police know they won't be able to completely eliminate the underage drinking, but they do hope their stepped up patrols will show the consequences of what could happen. Just about every college student looks forward to the weekend. Police know kids will be kids and some will make their way to on and off campus. Parties. A pair of grants has put about $30,000 into the hands of Stroud Regional and Campus Police to fight underage drinking. Chief Robin Olson says over a dozen arrests have already been made. Our goal really isn't to make a, a serious dent in the sense, you know, people are going to make a choice and a decision. But I think if they know that there's active law enforcement out there and there's a higher potential or risk that they might get caught for their actions, they're going to maybe choose healthier actions or, or be more responsible in their decision making. Off campus partying poses another problem. Students find freedom being away from RAs and campus police, but Stroud regional officers are out in full force, ready to make a move. On Saturday alone, 40 arrests were made, ranging from under age drinking to zoning violations. We found this to be wildly successful. It's a collaboration that was forged five years ago and we just keep on fine-tuning it and uh, uh, working with every every year since, since its inception. Chief Olson says students need to be made aware of the consequences because one mistake now could stick with them for many years to come. And we have students that come back and tell their stories and such say sometimes it takes years for them to you know go through the process and to clear everything off their name if they got a record that occurred from it. And both ESU and Stroud Regional Police say they will continue to step up patrols in what they term the high impact weekends. And they also say look for DUI checkpoints to be coming soon to areas surrounding the campus. Reporting live in Monroe County, I'm Jim Murdoch. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, thank you, Jim.